Hi, I'm Renee Suzanne of Renee Suzanne Coaching. And today I want to talk about what to do when you screw up because you're going to, spoiler alert, you're going to screw up, okay? I screwed up so many times because I was single for a long, long, long time and I had a lot of time to just blow things up. And believe me, I did. I did all kinds of crazy things like going out and meeting guys that I hadn't talked to and they had like horrible first dates where they would try to kiss me or grab me or showed up drunk and like ridiculous things. I would not ask the right questions. I got dumped via text by a guy I met on Tinder just a couple weeks before I met my husband. Like I had my share of dating mistakes and mishaps and I'm still happily married and I help my clients do this all the time. So I wanna give you some really good pointers on what to do when things go sideways because they will and I don't want you giving up just because you think you're never gonna get this or it's too hard or something didn't go the way you wanted, or you think you're just never gonna learn how to do this because you don't have some dating gene. Trust me, none of this is true. You can screw up totally horrendously and still find an amazing guy, and I know because I did, and I help my clients do this all the time. So the first thing I want you to do is keep going. Okay, do not use the screwing up of something or something going sideways to be an excuse to just hide and not date anymore and just hope that it'll happen when you least expect it or any of that absolutely ridiculous dating advice that people give you that just isn't true. It's not gonna just happen when you least expect it, all right? I was single for 20 years, like waiting to least expect it. Like, don't even get me started on that, okay? Please keep going, please keep trying, but do it intelligently. So here's how you do that. You learn everything you can from your dating mishaps and the things that go wrong. Learn what went wrong, what, what went well, what you would do differently and evaluate it. Don't just keep doing the same things. So yes, keep going, but don't keep doing the same things over and over again. If the same things are happening to you over and over again, I want you evaluating what is happening. I want you looking at yourself and how you can show up differently to create different results because you are the common denominator in all of your relationships and all of your situationships and all of the things that are happening. So do random crazy things happen once in a while? Yes, they do. But if if there's a pattern, if there are things that are happening, my rule of thumb is three or more times you see something happen, you need to look at what you are doing, how you are showing up and unpack this. And the best way to do that is with someone like me, a coach who specializes in this work, who can help you really laser in and get to what is happening and brainstorm some different solutions for you so you're not spinning your wheels. So you're gonna keep going, you're gonna keep learning, and you're going to evaluate what is happening and seek feedback from someone who can actually help you, not from all your friends who are just wanting to complain or tell you how right you are and how awful men are. That's not gonna help you find your guy, okay? So get feedback from someone who can actually help you get what you want. Okay. And please don't take it personally. This is not to beat yourself up or just feel terrible about. That's not going to help you either. I want you to be kind and tender and loving to yourself and don't take anything personally. That is the cardinal rule, not only of online dating or dating in general, but of life, in fact, because there are lots of things gonna happen to you in this world. And the less you take personally, the happier and more successful you will be. And that is not true anywhere more than online dating. Like, Online dating is like the epitome of not taking things personally, but this, this will serve you well across the, the board. So I want you to do these things when things go sideways, when you forget to do things, when you put yourself in a situation that you knew better than to get into, when you say yes to 
the second date with the guy that said he didn't want anything serious. When you sleep with the guy who said he wanted friends with benefits and hoped to change his mind and it didn't work out. When you knew better but you did something anyway, when you forgot to ask the questions about the things that you needed to know. And I, I teach a very, very successful system of dating that will really help you to get the results you want in dating. And it takes a little bit of a learning curve, but once you learn how to do it, you will really be able to nail this. And it does take some time to learn how to date right, to learn how to put yourself in the right situations instead of spinning your wheels or getting stuck or kind of messing things up. But it's just like learning to do anything like riding a bike or learning to drive or playing a, an instrument or learning a new language. It's like learning anything else. You would never beat yourself up for not being able to speak French per perfectly straight out of the gate or not understanding calculus the first time it was explained to you, you would not do that. You would do the things I'm telling you to do now. You would do all of those things when you were trying to learn any new skill. So keep going, learn everything you can, evaluate what you are doing and get feedback. Don't take anything personally and be kind to yourself because we want you moving forward, moving forward, moving forward, okay? And you can screw up so much and still find the love of your life. I am living proof of this. And so are many, many, many of my clients. So I hope this helps you today. If you would like to get on my calendar for a free hour-long consult to get my eyes on your dating life and help you to learn how to supercharge your results so that you can find love this year, you need to get on my calendar. Email me at renee at reneesuzannecoaching.com and we will make it happen and hit the subscribe button so you can get all my new videos. I'll see you again soon. Bye.